Today I am doing a little Reader's Digest haul. Um, these books remind me of my grandmother who is no longer with us. I remember as a kid her always reading the little ones that you would get through the month, each month. And so I do have very fond memories of them. So I've recently started kind of collecting them and I wanted to just read them basically just to see what my grandma might have read back in the day. Kind of crazy, but you know, I'm sentimental like that. So um, I got some of these on eBay and then some of them I've sourced in secondhand shops. Since then, I have been told that they are the most detestable books on the market. Many people actually hate them. They burn them or they color them, like spray paint them and use them only for decor because of the colors. And it's kind of sad thinking about that. So I've recently came across some 1951. I didn't get them the other day because I don't know why I didn't get them. I think it's just because lack of room. You know, I don't want to hoard books. But um, anyways, I just want to show you the ones that I got. So this one used to belong to Helen, Helen Prophet. And it looks like it was given, gifted to her maybe in 1981. And... Yes, 1981. Good reading, so apparently she read it. And it is volume two from 1977. And what they are is condensed books. So they came out, I think, pre-1950, uh, when people didn't have as much time to spend reading. And so they condensed a regular novel to a few hundred pages or a couple hundred pages. So you would get the gist of the book, but not the whole book. And I do like that. Many people don't. So anyways, this has The Slow Awakening, 19 Steps Up the Mountain. Um, we have Ghost Fox and In the Frame. So that's the first one that I have. Oopsie daisy. The second one, let's see if we could find a date. Again, Helen Prophet. Pro oh, this one was gifted in 1986. And this one is... Volume 3 from 1979. Oh, and it looks like very good. It looks like she read them and then maybe just told a little bit about them. So anyways, um, a, couple, a couple pictures. And let's see, about 500 pages each. And this one, they sure are pretty, like just vintage -y, very vintage -y. Okay, so this one has the sunflower... The Master uh, Mariner's Running Proud, Air of Judgment, and A Walk Across America. All right, they sure are beautiful. And this one, let's see. Oh, here we go. This one is Volume 1, 1971. You know what? I don't remember seeing. Oh, yeah, they do. They have them. Okay. I didn't even notice the dates there. I thought you had to look inside. So this is Volume 1, 1971. Wait a minute. Do I have two of the same? Now, all right, so this is The Crossing, Kinds of Love. Oh, let's see, The Antagonist's Love Story and Another Part of the House. And that's what that one looks like. So, yep, yeah, pages. All right, I have seven of them total. This one is volume three, 1977, and it has Tisha... The Dragon, Oliver's Story, Majesty Elizabeth and the House of Windsor, and Overboard. I wonder if Overboard is a book of that movie with with Goldie Hawn. That would be interesting, but probably not. But who knows? Maybe. I remember that. Oops. I remember that movie with Goldie Hawn well. Oh, okay. I thought I saw. I don't know. Okay. So... This one is volume one, 1979, and we got Eye of the Needle, Orphan Train, Overload, and A Dangerous Magic. Helen, and again, oh, fair, I guess that, oh, Overload, I guess that wasn't her favorite. You could see who the author was of the books. Again, it's just kind of a condensed book. So they are real books, so they are just condensed. Last two, this one is 1968, volume three. I wonder, is it just volume one, two, and three, I wonder? I don't know. All right, so this one has Once Upon an Island, 
Bush Baby, The Queen's Confession, Leafy Rivers, and The Crossbreed. Ooh, I don't know about that. And this one, X Library. Wow, this one feels pretty new, like it hasn't been read. I don't, yeah, this one feels like it's, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it hasn't been read. This one is not from the same person. And then the last one, this, these colors are just screaming at me, 70s. And, and they should be because volume two, 1973. So we got a palm uh, for Miss Polifax, the Camerons, the Japanese, and Green Darkness. Tokyo in there. All right. Oh, so anyways, um, you either love them or you hate them. That's what I've found regarding the Reader's Digest. I would like to get some of the actual paper ones. That Those were the ones I remember my grandma actually reading. And I'm just, I don't know. I also get old Avon lipsticks that I don't actually wear all the time because they remind me of my late aunt. So, you know, when you have childhood memories you somehow want to recreate those memories in your head by having something that gives you good memories of a family member and there's nothing wrong with that so that is my collection of reader's digest i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching Bye bye